Hello everyone, this is Eisnetz and today I have another gameplay video for you guys. This one is a little bit longer, but I highly recommend watching it to the end. There is a plot twist nobody saw coming. Let's not waste any more time though and have a look at the starting hands. First is Rafa on his Inala deck. Inala is probably my favorite Grixis commander. It turns Spellseeker into a one card combo which makes it stand out between all the Grixis commanders. His starting hand consists of a Wheel of Fortune, Grim Monolith, Exotic Orchard, and Polluted Delta. He put Intuition, Rhystic Study, and Misdirection back onto his library for his London Mulligan. Second is Benny on his Thrasios File Smasher list. This deck has incredibly high card quality and can control the game like it's a 1v1 game. His starting hand consists of an Otawara, Volcanic Island, Felwar Stone, Basalt Monolith, Brainstorm, Worldly Tutor and a Counterbalance. Third is Toby on his Derevi list. This deck wins by assembling a combo with Derevi, Emil the Blessed or Eldrazi Displacer and the land that can produce at least 3 or more mana. His starting hand consists of a Marsh Flats, Savannah, Gilded Drake, Flusterstorm and for his London Mulligan he puts Silence, Exotic Orchard and Crop Rotation back under his library. And I am going last with my Omnath Rainbow Evolution list. This deck wins by looping Dockside Extortionist with Emil the Blessed or with the usual Underworld Breach line. My starting hand consists of a Verdant Catacombs, Soul Ring, Birds of Paradise, Gamble, Ephemerate and an Esper Sentinel. For my London Mulligan I put Underworld Breach back under my library. As usual you can find links to all the decks in the description box down below. And now let's get started. Okay, any pregame? Then, Rafa, go ahead. Okay, uh, I will draw. I want to play uh, Command Tower and Pest Meta. Okay, okay. We are going to do an Odawara, and I'm going to cast a Brainstorm main phase. We'll put one back, and we'll put two back in this order. And then, then I will pass turn. Uh, upkeep. Drop a turn. Um, market. Mm -hmm. uh, go. Untap upkeep draw. I'll play a Verdant Catacombs. I will crack it. Lose one. Get a Savannah. And then I'll shortcut and cast a Birds. I will pass my turn. Get the Savannah. I will draw. So you are shot. Tap for a Grim Monolith. Okay, and then I will pass my turn. Untap. Draw. Uh, I will tap for a Volcanic and tap you for a Counterbalance. I'll check my Marsh Flats in Instep. Yes. Hello, Fountain into play. Tap. Untap. I'll keep draw for turn. Savannah. Wild Grove, my Hello Fountain. I'm gonna have a counterbalance trigger. I'm gonna reveal. Uh, actually, I know what this is. I am not gonna reveal. Okay. Hello Fountain for a green and a white. Cast a compost. And I'll pass after that. Okay, I will untap and keep draw. I will play a Forbidden Orchard. Tap and cast a Asper Sentinel. Counterbalance trigger. Not revealing. Okay. I will tap the birds for a soul ring. Pay one. Give you a token. I'll make a red and I will cast a gamble. All right, counterbalance trigger I'm not revealing and Okay, no nope. responses. I will get a card into my hand. Let's see. I'll get this mystery card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. And that's an eternal witness. Okay. And with that, I will pass my turn and shuffle up. Untap up the um, I put the delta fetch for underground C. No, I need a second. I think I want to try to cast for three 
three colors from Grim and tap Underground Sea for black for a Dominic Tutor. Okay, do you pay yep. for the Asper Sentinel? No, I don't. Okay, I will draw a card. Not revealing that. I'm okay. passing. I hope we have something for Spellseeker. I'll have a compost trigger then. Draw a card. From here, we'll use the two colorless and the one uh, actually Orchid for blue and one to cast a Spellseeker. Okay, I have a counterbalance trigger. Does. I am going to reveal an intuition. So it goes to grave. And from here, I will pass. Incredible. Intuition, yikes. I will pay two uh, to cast a Fell War Stone, not paying for Esper. I will draw. I am going to go to combat. Uh, swing the Spirit at Ruff. I'm going to pass the turn. Let's cast the Rebbe for three. I have a... We have a Court of Calling. Oh, wow, the Rebbe gets countered. Damn, that's lucky. Uh, well, pass my turn up to that. Okay, I will untap. Draw. I will, um... Two colorless. I will make a pur purple mana and give that to Benny, that spirit. Okay. And I'll use the colorless and the purple to cast a Dockside. I challenge trigger. I am going to respond to the trigger by cracking my foothills. Mm -hmm. Am I good to reveal for counterbalance? Sure. Sure. Yes. Out of land. Okay. I will make five treasures. I will pay one to cast an ephemerate targeting my dock site. I'm going to respond. Uh, I'm going to worldly tutor here. Paying for Esper. I'm just gonna put a death right on top. Okay. And then counterbalance trigger the ephemerate gets countered. I'll just have to pass after that. Okay. Untap of the draw. This thing from here will pass. Okay, go to draw. Mm -hmm. I will cast the death right shaman. I'll go to combat. Uh swing both of these at rough. I'd love to do more, but I'm just going to pass. Yep. I'll keep. Sure. Mm -hmm. Epic green. For Thinhorn Elves. Yeah, I'm not going to reveal. Toby, are you passing? Or... Yep. Okay, at the end of your turn, I'd like to tap the birds to cast a brainstorm. Uh, it's kind of a bait, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> we have a four on top. Mm -hmm. uh, brainstorm is good. I will draw three, put two back, this one back, this one back. Untap, draw. I will play a Tundra. Cast a Lotus Petal. Two colorless. I will give you another token. Make another green Tundra. And I'll crack the Lotus Petal, and then I'd like to cast a Call of Calling, X equaling 4. I want to force of will this, and pitching Archimedes will mm -hmm. Do you pay for the Asper Sentinel through? Uh, yes. Okay, good okay. So then, let's go to the graveyard. I will use two of my treasures to cast an Underworld Breach. Remind us what's in your graveyard. So I have a Horde. Verdant Catacombs, Gamble, Eternal Witness, Ephemerate, right. Brainstorm, Lotus Petal, Court of Calling. Um, I'm gonna do three for the intuition, not paying for Esper, targeting Toby. Okay, okay I, will, I will draw first. Uh, so these are my three. Mizzeth, Mindbreak, Trap, C4. <laughs> Uh, no politics with this guy. I mean, you can have your mind break trap. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna reveal for the for the counterbalance. We have a two drop. Nice. Oh, that's that's convenient. So so breach gets countered. Pay one, okay. and then cast a Avacyn's Pilgrim, and I'm hellbent. Hey. Yep. Yep. And then I will pass my turn. Until. Okay. I want to cast the guys have in hand now. Zero. 
Let's go. I have four still. Okay. We yes, play a Morphic Pool. ain't getting any better. A Morphic Pool and want to play a uh, wheel. Oh, uh -huh. not saying no. Uh, not saying no to that one. Uh, uh, so there is compost. We have to be uh, wary of the compost. Yeah, let's go. I will just draw. Uh, I will just draw seven cards. One, two. I mean, yeah. the wheel isn't resolved yet, right? No, yeah. it hasn't resolved yet, but oh. I am passing on wheel. Okay, I, I'm, I'm also passing on wheel. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so, what do you guys discard? Uh, you didn't discard anything, right? That yeah, was your I was, last I, card. I, I was hellbent, yeah. I didn't discard. I'll, I'll go next then. I'll like discard that. a Gilded Drake, Cluster Storm, Scorch Ruins, and a Yi Sun. Okay, I'm discarding Mind Break Trap, uh, Painted Pack, so you can draw a card there. Mm -hmm. And then I have a Wandering Archaic and a Basalt Mala. Mm. Uh, I think I will pass my turn. Oh, I totally forgot the Espa Sentinel. But... Yes, I will pay for it. Yeah. Cool. Draw a card. Okay. We're gonna do a Marsh Flats, cast a Slaughter Pack targeting the Esper Sentinel, and I'm gonna pay for that. Sure. Then I would like to... Uh, I'm gonna exile one of your fetches, Engin. Sure, uh, that's a Verdant Catacombs. Black, and I'm gonna cast a Reanimate targeting my Newton is it. You get to draw a card, Toby? Yep. Yeah, let's go to combat, and I am just gonna send these three over at rough again. I will be passing the turn there. Um, I will break this guarding hunt. Put it in the ravines. Uh, ETB target hellout fun. As a priest of Titan. And then I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna reveal for counterbalance. There. Yeah, go for it. That is a rustic study. Uh, I'll need to discard. Uh, yeah, wait, wait, uh, wait. I would like to, when you move to your end, end step, I would like to pay one. I'll use one of my treasures, and I'd like to uh, path to exile that Nip Mizzet. Okay, I have a Nip Mizzet trigger. And a counterbalance trigger. I would like to respond by casting uh, Swan Song. And then there's another Nip trigger on top. I have two Nip triggers and a Caller Balance up beneath that. Mm -hmm. okay, so, I'm gonna resolve. Swan resolves, right? Okay. I get a, this gets countered and I get a Swan. Oh, no, no, no. no I, I do the Nip triggers first. Okay, sure. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna draw a card here. Uh, and I am going to ping the Elvish Moosebeck. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, let's do the Birds of Paradise. <laughs> Birds get pinked. And then, yeah, I'm not going to reveal for counterbalance. Uh, and then I have Swan Song on the stack, and beneath that, it, uh, another Nip Trigger. Mm -hmm. So Swan Song resolves, Path gets exiled. And then I will draw another card. I get a bird. Yep. I draw a card and target Avacyn's Pilgrim. Okay. Uh, discard planes, discard Eldrassi Displacer. I will then go to my turn. I will untap. Keep draw a card, pay three, cast a Savine's yeah, Reclamation. Savine's uh, is a sorcery, right? So I have a nip trigger. Yep. Uh, what, what did you target? Sorry. Um, I'm targeting my Underworld Breach. Well, there's two triggers on the stack. I'm going to re uh, resolve the nip trigger first. Draw a card, and I'm going to shoot your elves, Tony. No, the other ones. I am going to reveal for counterbalance. That is a two. Okay, so Savine's uh, is good. Put an Underworld Breach into play. I will then pay one Femorate. I will exile that one, the Brainstorm, and the Birds of Paradise and cast an Ephemerate targeting my dock site. There's uh, two triggers on a stack. Yep. 
So you get. Am I going to resolve those for me, or? I mean, you can resolve the NIF trigger first. Yep. Okay. If you if you ping the dock side, it will be somewhat yep. better, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, I'm gonna ping the Finehorn Elves, and then I am gonna I am gonna reveal if that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a zero. Okay. So is the fem rate good? Uh, and. Um, there is a NIV trigger on the spec, and I'm going to respond to the NIV trigger if Engen isn't. So I'll draw a card, and I will ping, yeah, let's ping Dockside here. Okay, uh, ephemerate on the stack. Oh no, no, then silence is on the stack, so you have a counterbalance trigger. Not revealing for that. Okay, so silence resolves. And then there's an ephemerate on the stack. Resolve. It goes to the graveyard because I'm not casting it from my hand. And then Dockside will flicker. The damage will be removed. So that's five again. So I will be at six treasures. That's my turn. I will pass and the other will reach goes to my yard. Okay. Passing. If you draw, you play a Forbidden Orchard to an ape. Uh, dashing it in. Uh, no, sorry for one. Dash. Uh, yeah, counterbalance trigger. I forget, did I reveal the top card? I don't know. Oh, it's it's I forget. No, it's a land. We haven't seen that. Oh, Tess. Uh, I have a uh, packed oh. su summer. No, not summer spec. What's it called? Slaughter pack. Slaughter Water pack. Packed. I will go to my draw step. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card and I'm gonna ping Ragavan. I will cast a Mana Crypt, Polluta Delta, land for turn. Actually, let's go ahead and crack the Marsh Flats. Uh, underground C, uh, cast the Witch Claw Talisman, floating colorless. Debate Witch Claw Talisman. Giving it to Toby for a blue, uh, cast a curiosity targeting the Mizzet. I would like to respond to that. I will tap the Forbidden Orca to give you a uh, spirit. Yep. Now I will track one of my treasures, like Funny Grift, targeting your Niv Mizzet. Okay, I have a Niv trigger on the stack and a counterbalance trigger. All right, I'm gonna do the Niv trigger first. I'm gonna draw a card. Ping you in the face, Engdin. I'll lose one. <laughs> That's rage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I deserve uh, it. And then I'm going to reveal for counterbalance. That is a two. Oh, yeah, well. well I did my best, guys. I mean, on the plus side, I can't kill everyone because your life totals are too high. Yeah, but maybe... Yeah, yeah, maybe well, wait, 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 wait. The, 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 the thing is still on the stack, so... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Just saying. Just saying. Rafa, Rafa has prior. Um, oh, come on. So resolves. I'm gonna crack the delta. Let's just get a tropical. Uh, I'm gonna exile a land from your library. Engin. Graveyard. Library. Let's go. Uh, uh, graveyard. I, yeah. I actually don't have any lands in my graveyard. Okay. Toby. Yep. Have a much Sounds good. Uh, I'll make a black. I'm gonna tap this. I'm gonna abrupt decay targeting Dockside. Sure. There Dockside. is a nurture track stack. And then the loop, the Niv Mizzet, and the loop is initiated. So I'm gonna draw a card and ping everyone. Uh, and then that wait. will. Sorry? A player, yeah, sure. Go for it. Yeah. So that actually would happen before the dog's side dies, right? Yep. 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 So, and then you so can start just... pinging. So I'll draw a card, I'll ping. Do you want him? I'll, I'll do it manually. I'll, I'll target Toby. So I'm going to target Yeah, him. I'm so glad you gave me the wish claw. <laughs> like, here, yeah. take this. Now I have a cause to kill you. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, uh, draw a card. 
Ping you again, draw a card. Ping you again, draw a card. Ping you again, draw a card. Ping you again, draw a card. Ping you again, draw a card. Ping you again, draw a card. Ping you again. Uh, so I'm gonna do this until you're dead. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You took eight already? I'm gonna draw 30 here. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So then you're dead. Then I'm going to proceed to kill. So I'm going to kill rough second. So you have 32. Let's leave it at that. So how many, how many cards do you have left in your library? I have, I don't know, four, I think. Well, yeah, this is going to take a while here, but... Uh, we'll cast a Chromox. Yeah, I'd like to respond. Yep. I'll pay two to cast a Brain Freeze. <laughs> okay. There's a new trigger. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but you can't kill me because you don't have enough cards in your, in your deck. Yep. I just, I can't. yep. I'll at least mill you out. Well, I mean, I'm going to counter that. But I still have a lot of copies. So that, what, what cards do you cast? You had the Chromox, the Curiosity, and there was the um, Cyclonic Rift, right? The Wishclaw Talisman, it's four. Yep. So I have four copies and the original, so five copies targeting you. Oh my god, you're going to kill me because I was an idiot. Let's see, maybe you might you might still get this. You have your whole deck in your hand, right? Yeah, that happens when you just go into autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> yeah, this is really dumb. I shouldn't have done that. No, I can't do anything because I don't have my commanders up. I'm just going to die here. Yeah, looks like it, right? So I mill you out, and then with the next draw, you die. Well, yeah, I mean, there's a new trigger on the stack, and it's not yeah. a maze. I mean, you will draw... <laughs> Before the f the yeah, but he can't. Resolved, but he can't. You can't kill me. So yeah, that's why right. he's just gonna cost me cast any instant or sorcery and you'll die. Yeah, you get cocky, you lose. Is that a win for me now? <laughs> I guess I can't even count that as a loss. It's so ridiculous. I mean, yeah. I could have just you know not done that. I don't. I don't count it as a win. It was just stupid. <laughs> and that's the game. As I said before, nobody, not even myself thought that I could turn this game around. Because Benny went into full autopilot after resolving the curiosity, he made a critical mistake which allowed me to win with a random brain freeze. Stuff like this has happened to me before, like dying to a cephalid colosseum after exiling my library with Urza. It's just important to learn from these mistakes and never go full auto when comboing off. If your opponents don't scoop up immediately, they might still have relevant interaction. Speaking of interaction, Counterbalance was definitely the most valuable card this game. It stopped 3 win attempts and protected Benny on his turn. It's just such a pain to play around and if you are not already on it, I highly recommend giving it a shot. And with that, I'm out. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends. This is Eisenherz and Auf Wiedersehen.